trait. Now here comes the magic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what makes uh, photo match really, really awesome. I can take this background photo and I can project it onto my 3D model. So let's kind of see how things are going. Now keep in mind this is just, this is not something you want to use as your final texture, but you want to set this up in order to be able to see what's going on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, sit over here to my photo mat and I'm going to tell it to project pictures, textures from photo. First of all I'm going to turn off my x-ray. And I'm going to project pictures from photo and pow! You'll notice that the model has disappeared, but it actually didn't disappear. I've projected the model on here. So now, oh, look at that. That looks freaking nice. And now here we go. We can see, you know, these are, <coughs> excuse me, these are the uh, parts that were hidden by the camera. But you can actually use this as sort of an eyeball to see, okay, uh, this looks pretty good. The lines are straight. The lines are straight here. So it looks like I got that going right. Uh, turning around, if we're going to make this in 3D, it looks like these lights are going to be projected here, here, and here, there, there, and there. So a little bit of an error, but I'm not complaining too much about it. Those are pretty straight up and down too. Uh, so this is looking pretty nice. And then over here, we've got ourselves, you know, the computers are set. Uh, we'll have to probably outset that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit Control Z to undo that and set it back to its marker again. Turn X-ray back on. And I'm going to start drawing now, and I'm going to use these these uh, the the drawing tool, or the uh, um, projection tool, as a guide. So I'm going to start doing this little complex thing, this little side shell over here, and it's actually going to be pretty easy because all I have to do is take my guide from here, from this edge, and I'm going to go ahead and run it up the side. Actually, I'm going to start here, and I'm going to run this from here to here because it looks like it goes up against that wall. So there we go, we got that. I'm going to run it up here to this up here. And after that, I'm going to see, does it look like it goes back? It does look like it goes back. So let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to go ahead and take this point here that I just did. I'm going to take that back down. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to take this up here perpendicular to the edge. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to take this up to the top. There we go. That looks really awesome. And then I'm going to erase this. And I'm going to go ahead and do something real strange. I'm going to go ahead and take this. I'm going to push pull this back. And you'll see, oh, that's not good because it looks like I got the angle wrong. And that's because I'm taking it from here and I'm, oh, I totally got the angle wrong. I'm taking it to the wrong spot. So what I need to do is take this up to that side. There we go. Now we make it up to here. And then I'm going to go back down. And I'm going to take this up then up to here, to the top, and then back down again. That gives me a real good center. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Oops. Remove that. And I'm also going to remove this polygon right here. And I'm going to push pull this back. Wow. Push pull, push pull, there we go. Push pull this back here like that, all the way up to this line right here. Uh, I need to align it, there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and remove that polygon. And what happens now is I'm going to, I got myself a nice little half shell there. Oh, that looks pretty nice. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the photo match again. And what's going to happen now is I can use this to verify when I look at it straight that these, these are pretty straight here. So I've got myself a nice little texture going. Now I think the end caps are also not there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. Turn my x-ray back on. And I'll need to remove this and that and this, oops, and this right here. Now we got, there we go, there we got the nice half shell now. And I can put this back and project from photo again. And now I can see that I've got pretty nice texture on the wall there. That's pretty cool. 
Once again, I'm going to go ahead and remove my textures. I'm going to put this back to where it was before, turn X-ray back on. And oh, I got a minute left, so I have to watch this here. What I'm going to do very quickly is I'm going to go ahead and extrude this guy all the way up to here. Grab this, move that down to make it kind of perpendicular. There we go. Move this down here. That looks good enough for me. Once again, black out. Oops, X out. Photo match. And that's it. Awesome, huh?